Now I know this is, might look a bit odd, but I want this video to be a little different. For you see, this is my porno. My big gay panda porno that I am releasing for five dollars ninety-five on Bazzas. Is it Bazzas? Uh, in all seriousness, I want this to be a little bit different. Uh, I'm not a kid anymore, and I have time constraints now, so whatever time I am going to put into making something, I'm going to do right. Hence this video. I want to keep my editing skills as well as my filmmaking skills, and actually get some use out of this fucking piece of shit $2,000 camera. Plus a thousand dollar accessories, but we, 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 we won't go into the details of that. But either way, I wanted to get the best out of making a video and do it to a quality where I'm happy with. In saying that, this video was a pain in the ass to make. For several reasons that I, I will soon get to. But starting off, we start with the most enjoyable part of the game, booting it up. I'm as enjoyable as exiting out of it. But I digress. Read some of the terms and services of the game, then we read the fantasy terms and services, and then we're into the longest, or second longest part of the video. Foreshadowing for later. Originally I was going with a character design, so if people were to ask, hey, is your character a boy or a girl? I could simply reply, yes. But due to several boycottings and uh, some interesting statements said by s possibly some writers of some book series of <laughs> I felt this wasn't appropriate. It seriously made fucking girlfriend review cry? Jesus, fuck you relentless fuckers. So I went with the character design, so if anyone was to ask, how old is your character? I could simply reply, yes. With that, I moved into dabbling with the different voice choices of the game, between the normal male voice... I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. ...the normal female voice... I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. ...and the blender it and chipmunk wonderful. abbreviations of I believe of I'm both. really going to enjoy... That was quite something. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That was quite something. After getting an uncomfortable erection, I moved straight along to naming my character. The first name coming from one of my most beloved D&D characters. And the second coming from what I usually call my dumb Dark Souls characters. And with that, we're in. Appears we are almost ready to so my character made this face, and then I, I met this old geezer. Then this bastard decided to pop in and make some odd suggestions. <laughs> then the game pulled something out of a fucking Harry Potter film. Oh wait. Naturally, before this game evaporated in my library, I was already a little sceptical on how family-friendly this game would be. To market to young Timmy and Bobby for, you know, Christmas or birthdays or, I don't know, fucking bar mitzvahs. But I was soon disproven. Probably one of the more cooler scenes in the game, and a nice reference to Order of the Phoenix. My character then decided to nope the fuck out, fell on our ass, took some drugs, and did a bit of a spin. Then we were back into it. Went to a bank, and I had a lovely little trouser accident when I saw this young gobbo. It can't be. We then took the nice Dreamworld license ride to the next area. Then my character whispered something that she didn't want the goblin to hear right next to the goblin. Yeah, what was that? I then waved my wand in the air and learned a new spell, and then this happened. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say... Two seconds. Yeah. This one little detail defined the next four hours of my life, as I found one problem. 
then royally pissed off the editing gobbo. You stupid fat bastard! Why change the frame rate? None of the editing applications that you use to record with can record at a frame rate higher than 60 frames! Oh, look at it! You've ruined it! Ruined it! Now it's gonna stutter like a stroke victim! It's ruined! Ruined! Ah! Even as I was playing, I knew the editing gobbo would be very mad at me. Nope, it is so much worse. So much worse. Okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. Stop shouting at me. However, despite my best efforts, this problem only got worse. Then when I figured that out looking through the recordings, I didn't like the sound of my mic, so I decided to change it to the wireless go microphones that I use for my camera operating system. I mainly use it for interview situations and other things like that, but then I had problems with those, as only one side of the audio would play, so you could only hear out of the left side, and they desynced at one point, and I couldn't figure out how to resync them. And then it wouldn't connect to my computer for some reason, and then I kept mucking about in the settings of the actual road mics, and it got very, very annoying for me. And I was starting to get a little mad. But then after that, I took a nice relaxing poo, and with that, we were back into business. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Next class, I wandered in on two kids fighting over who took whose lunch money. This kid was about to get head, but like me, Grandma walked in, so head was off the table. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. And much like my grandma, she organized a cockfighting ring, but this time it was with students. Here, my character felt the need to flirt. Good form. I know. Of course, naturally, against a bunch of school kids, I beat the shit out of them. And I was so gracious as ever about it. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Bitch! <sighs> After that encounter, I met a nerd. I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Pussy. And on my way to the next class, I met a romantic couple. Sorry, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, their romance will shine past our stars. <laughs> Walked into next class, and then some kid tried to warn me about the teacher. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> but alas, too late. Shall we begin? <laughs> we went outside, where we then played with some big balls. Ugh. Of course, I was, as always, a brilliant sport. Oh, that is bullshit. <laughs> that is how it's done. Oh, eat my ass. This was my first encounter with this and bitch. The werewolves joined the goblins, goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you in the Goblin Rebellion of 1752? Oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling I'm lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. After meeting Peeves the Pervert, I went on a bit of a wonder and realised there was a soul-crushing amount of work put into this game. Peeves the Pervert then became Peeves the Prick. Naturally, I'm not so much as a fan of Harry Potter, but I do know it quite well, so I will save the spoilers for you. That's where they kill. By merely saying it and cutting it off. In this clip, I assure you. Don't worry, I'm just a soy boy. What? Pandas have to shit too. Let's get to the good part. The mosquito girl is thick as fuck. After that, I was visited by Miss Miss Weasley, Sorry, and I was told to pick a victim. It was a I've very hard choice. Time with them. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'd like to go with Sebastian. On my way to meet Sebastian, well, I met this here. guy, and he got way too much head for his own good. So we made our way to Hogsmeade, where I got to pick my very own wand. And let me tell you, I was faced with the hardest choice yeah. in the game. Take so it. How intriguing. And I found some goddamn drip, boy. Mm. Now, why mm. sick? I like it. I look like fucking Siri out of The Witcher. Got a wee bit excited for my own good. These trolls decided to rock up in a wreck of your shit, and they laid Sebastian out like a fucking mat. They also destroyed most of the town, but you know, who fucking cares, this is Harry Potter. On my trip to the next mission, I came across Peeves the Pervert, who then became Vanya. Peeves the Piss Taker. Huh? Oh, not again! Here I've come from the toilet bowl, where she said I could swim, did you praxia mole? As long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory, not for the meek. He tried to stop me, did Seriously, dude, get some fucking dignity. Just, just hits differently, man. Oh, fuck. That fucking stinks. Went to the next class where I learned a war crime. And then I got to Fig. meet Daddy. I have work for you. Come. Nice hey, serious black. The one reason why I decided to play this game was because of this guy's voice actor. He's one of my favourite actors who stars in multiple good things. Like Paul and Mission Impossible, but more importantly, the Cornetto trilogy. Hot Fuzz. Shaun of the Dead. And we don't talk about the other one. Came across Peeves the Piss Taker, then he became Peeves the fucking snitch. Peeves, don't you... Found a toilet. No, not this one. Someone, or more to the point, something tried to tongue me. And then I came to this part of the game, which I kind of have to touch base on. Like, look at the lip reading of this, I'll, I'll say, very, very pretty NPC. Of course, she's the garden. And then, this shit. Like, seriously. Come on. The lip reading and the, like, fucking cutscenes are flawless. It's a Harry Potter game, for Christ's sake. The music is mmm. Mm. But you couldn't have blown, like, a little bit more. Like, Christ, this looks like it out of fucking year 10 drama play. Like, fuck. Either way, Professor Sprout sent me to go get the Chinese chomping cabbages, and, and of course, these things came from China, as all good things do. Played with this cow. No, not that one, this one. Got to this part of the game and got a Prison of Azkaban reference. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. Oh, fuck off. Uh, prison mask, then. And in this cave full of creepy crawlers, I came across the most satisfying combat.
Daddy. It was at this point in the game where I found the best item in the game. Hands down. What the fuck? Asylum mouth is kind of dapper though. I was no one before I put on the mask. Then I was somebody. Where is the Batman? I will find you, Batman. And when I do, you will if be I dead. Very easy to reveal, Batman. You will not get the better of me, for I am a wizard. I mean, Bane. Obviously, I had a bit too much fun with this than I probably should have, but come on. Then it got better. I'm sorry, Batman, but I have become my greatest fear, clowns. After taking on my new persona, I then went to the next class. Which, broom, broom, oh. broom go broom. To make an appearance once in a while. And then this little shit told me that I could go a buy a broom, detour, so of course, so broom. Got this sick fucking drip. Oh my god, anything dragon related gets my dick hard as a fucking cement slab. And then my broom, my broom go broom. And then it asked me to do some racing, and then broom go broom. This smug bitch said something about me not being good, so I just fucking dip this shit. Why look at this smooth fucking broom walk out. Oh. And that's all I've got so far. If you enjoyed this video, or uh, you know, wanted me to keep making more, I'm, I'm probably going to make more, so so you don't have to do too much. Uh, give this video a bit of a like, and uh, feel free to subscribe. But yeah, this video took a long time to make, and it was a bit of a pain in the ass. But yeah, thanks. Adios. But I'm so frustrated